open the floor to questions. We have got a fairly big panel. So I haven't even discussed my contract yet, so I hope that these are million men. But uh, <laughs> that's far from my mind at this stage. I think that uh, you know, I've been coaching rugby for 23 years, and for me it's just important to give South African rugby back where it belongs. So you know, I don't even worry about the contractual situation yet. I'll just worry about the rugby for the time being. What I'm going to do is obviously just have a look and see you know, from, and I've probably learned from a lot of people that have been before me, I mean, you know, the committee that assessed me, obviously, and McIntosh and Hunter and Markov, both in the spin box. So, and probably speak to Rudolph and Harry and whoever I can to make sure that whatever mistakes that have been made in the past, I don't make the same mistakes. In terms of the players, uh, from a rugby point of view, you know, I've been lucky enough to work with the juniors for the last three or the five years. And I've no doubt that there's more than enough talent in this country. It's a profession of, for me, just being a bit more positive. I think that uh, the one word that I think I really like to highlight is we need to be positive. I think there's too much negativity about rugby. And uh, if the one thing I would like to bring back is, is the whole positive attitude to the team. Right, I used to coach the Golden Lions Super 12 side of the Rangort in 96, and I coached the Shark Super 12 side in 2000. So I don't know if that counts as being a senior. But the way I'm feeling now is I'm over the moon. I mean, it's one of the things any guy who gets into coaching would like to coach his national team. Let's not forget, this is not. Uh, it's one of the smaller nations, one of the big nations in the world rugby. Um, you know, I just also, you know, I think what South African rugby needed was continuity in selection. And I think, you know, I must thank the executive for showing faith in me because I've been in the system. And you know, I'm a bit surprised that you came through the back door, but you know, I think it's opportunity. And I think at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people say, are you happy to get the job? And all I've got to say to you is, when is the right time to get the job? You know? I think, um, as I said, I'm over the moon that I've got this opportunity to scare me when you guys keep asking about the performance calls. Uh, one of the things that I, I think has also probably helped me get this job is I've had a coach of a junior player where we've beaten in a junior level, so what's the difference? You know, Richard McCall wasn't in a 21 player, he lost in South Africa. And uh, Chris Jack lost in the final in a 21 level. So, you know, I think we've got to get back to the situation where we mustn't be in awe of New Zealand and, and I think we need to take every game as it comes, and I know that's an old cliche, but at the end of the day, I, I really believe that we've got the talent in this country to compete with the best in the world, and, and that's what we've got to try and strive for. You know, obviously, I just found out this morning, and uh, I'm not even given any thought about captaincy and players and all that sort of thing, but to be fair, I, I'm going to work very closely with the assessment committee. That is one of the things that I, I, I stress, that I need a support staff. It's not a case of just me doing it on my own. And often, coaches have, have landed themselves in trouble by trying to run the whole show by themselves. You know, again, I mentioned I've got senior coaches. I was going to say old, but I know Mac would kill me, but senior coaches like Mac and Andre Markov. And for me, it's just a question of making sure that whatever value they can add, I'm going to, I'm going to listen to. And uh, as I say, you know, in terms of the, the management team, I think one thing, again, that I'd like to just stress, any guy that is in the management has to have a positive influence. Because the positive influence runs off on the players, and again, I can't overstress the fact that I think negativity needs to stop now. I think the players are probably also a little bit sick and tired of, of having all this negative um, media and negative violence. So and I think one of the things I'd like to do is try and get the players to be a lot more positive about playing rugby in South Africa. I think, uh, Louis, I think the most important thing is that I need, need to go back to what we do well in South Africa. I think as a coach, one of the things that we must do is do the, the things we do simply keep it simple. Uh, I don't want to try and get too fancy in the beginning, but I do believe that the game's changing, and I believe that we're getting left behind certain aspects of the game. I don't want to go into too much detail about that now, but so from a, you know, I believe again, from the players that we've got, there's more than enough ability and skill to actually vary the way you want to play, because you know, if you look at the kind of caliber of boy we have, the genetics that we have in this country, if it's directed properly and used correctly, you know, I don't see why we can't change from Saturday to Saturday. But again, just making sure we do what we do well. I think it's very important to understand one philosophy that I have. You know, a lot of there's a perception that I don't enjoy senior players. I think if any senior player, whether he's 40 or 42, he runs in front, has a positive attitude and adds value to the team, will be a automatic selection. And any player who's played a lot of times runs at the back and is negative, can't fit into a team structure that I would like to have. So, you know, I don't care if my team's average age is 37. You know, if they're all positive and they play the way properly and they train the way they should train, they produce the expectations that you like you guys expect. Well, then, I mean, I'm no biased in terms of having a baby ball team. I just think it's an indictment sometimes to senior players that the junior players look more conditioned and more fit. And, and that's one of the things I'm really going to work harder is getting the buy-in from the players that have probably not had the same opportunities at junior level. 
and give them the same sort of opportunities that they've missed out by me coming and coaching them. Yeah, you know, I think that I'm the kind of coach where, it's, you know, for me, because I plan and I, I, you know, I, I empower the coaches around me, I don't really have a problem who, who coaches with me as long as, as I said, the, the main thing is that the, the coaching staff is positive, we all buy into the way we want to play. And, uh, you know, as I said, I have no bias, but I must emphasize that one of the things that I have said, I'm going to be working very closely with the assessment committee, and I'm going to obviously make sure that the whole balance of the management of the team in terms of transformation, in terms of ability, in terms of multi-skill, you know, is going to be seen to. So, again, it won't just be my fault, it will be the assessment committee helping me, making sure that we get the right player in our management. Again, all I can say is that I sit here thinking to myself, what, what answer do I give? Because I say we must win every single test match, and people say... Yeah, it's unrealistic. It's unrealistic. And I say, well, we can afford to lose three, and then I look as though I'm accepting that three, you know, is good enough to lose. All I can say is that, you know, we play Ireland at the first, I think it's vital that we win the first three test matches of the year. We play Ireland twice in Wales. I think everything's got to go into the planning of winning those first three test matches. I think the Tri Nations, as we're all aware, to play away from home is always very difficult. So, you know, I'd like to at least win one of those games away from home and then set yourself up for some home game. And I think we need to get back. One of the things, again, I'm emphasizing as a coach, it needs to be unpleasant for players of other countries to play us at home as well. You know, we put too much into some time away, it must be hard for them to beat us in our country. So that's one thing that I will be highlighting. So, you know, just to answer more. You know, I can't give a number, but, but I'd like to really make sure that we're competitive in every single test match we play. That would be the highlight. Because I think if any guy in South Africa that's brought through a lot of black and coloured players, it would be me. And, uh, you know, there's, there, as I said to you, there's no, I find it quite easy to motivate any player from any colour, any creed, any culture. You know, I, I've grown up in a country where I'm used to the way it's been brought up. And there's no doubt in my mind, if you look at the current players we have, why we can't can produce more and more black and colored swing balls. And I think, you know, it's not just sitting here wanting the job and saying to you, give me the job because I'm going to be the savior of black and colored rugby. I just genuinely believe in my heart, if you look at guys like Ricky Jerry, Bola Conradi, Brayton Pulsa, I mean, those guys would be, picked, would be picked in most other countries' first 15. So we just got to make sure that one of the things we've got to do, we create opportunity, that the player must take the responsibility for the opportunity he gets given. And if that principle stays, I'll be happy. One of the things that they asked me in the assessment meeting was two years and how do you feel about it? At the end of the day, you've got to say to yourself, do you want to coach your country for two years or for none? <laughs> and uh, I'll take the two years and hopefully, you know, if I do it properly and we work hard enough, I think it might be difficult for them to tell me to leave in two years' time if we're winning. So, and I expect the same buying from players. You know? and I think if I, if I get that from the players, which I'm sure I will get, and I can't see why, again, we can't be competitive at the test. Oh.